Greetings everyone. My name is Gwandile Senem Chueni. My student number is 2062-8408. I am from the group, I'm from the group called G Collectives. The name of our app is Orientation. And I'm Lundi Ngwane. Uh, my student number is 217-291686. So today we will be doing a demonstration of our app. Your first question might be, what is orientation? Orientation is the preceding period to start of the academic year at a college or university where a variety of events are held to welcome and to acclimate new students. Your second question should be, what happens at an orientation? The most important task you want to accomplish, you want to complete at orientation is to get experience with university life. You will learn about school policies. You will learn. You will also learn about advising sessions. You will also get a chance whereby you will be you will be shown the whole campus. So on our app, we have our tables. We have tables. We also have our stored procedures. Oh, uh, your third question might be, what was the goal for 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 us uh, by doing this app? Due to COVID nineteen pandemic, we decided to create this app because it will help to avoid overcrowding and decrease expenses for the event. We also know that this pandemic came with many rules, and it's really changed our lives. So right now I will show you our first stored procedure, which is add new policies so that you will able to see how we call that our add new policies. We have our two, we have two parameters, which is university name, policy name. As you can see on the screen, we also, all oh, these parameters helped, help the admin or oh, it, yeah, it does have an admin to create and also to store what he or she created. We also have our table which links policies and the university, whereby we have policies and university ID, which is our foreign key, and then we have university ID, which is a foreign key on its on its table, as well as policy ID which is a, a, a foreign key. Then there, as you can see, as I'm pointing over there, over on the foreign keys, these are, these are our foreign keys. Then we have there below, we have on delete cascade. You, 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 you may ask what is on delete cascade or why we did put on delete cascade. We put it on delete cascade because if you, if you delete, um, if you delete something on the on the tables, it will be deleted on the stored pro procedures permanently. Mm -hmm. Then we then right now I will show you our form, which we have a um, policy name. name. We have our data review, which will show our which will show our tables. Then we have our three buttons, which will show all select and close. So right now I will double click on show also that I will, I will show you the code. As you can see, the code is there. We on, on our show all button, we have our stored procedure get policies details, which will get all our stored procedures. Uh, all our policies that we have on our table, it will show them all. Then I will show you. Um, how select works, or what is the or, or, or what is or, the code of the select? Okay, so we have on our code for select, we have get a policies details, which is a stored procedure. This uh, stored procedure will get a particular thing that we selected. Particular policy, I can say. Then I will show you our close button the code for our close button then we did code our close button 
over to you. Oh, thank you. Greetings, everyone. Oh, as I said, uh, I said I'm loading one. My student number is 217291686. Uh, what I'm here to show you, uh, I'm just going to go to Server Explorer so I can show you our tables. Uh, we have admin table, which ad admin table is the simplest table, and, and we have uh, links where we link admin and the student, admin and the university, admin and the user. Uh, we have university uh, student and university and user and student. Uh, and down there we have our stored procedures where we said uh, add a new new facility and uh, and services where we add a new facility add new policy add new student add new university add new user what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to run our app so you can see magic the things that we did in our app uh, so you can uh, see our app so what i'm going to do i'll just press that so I can run our table, uh, our, 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 our app. So you can see our as you, um, as you see our, our app, like it is now running. Uh, as you see our app now is running. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to log in. Oh, first, as you can see down there, it's written current design out. I have been like logging. So, uh, what will happen if a student if a student wants to uh to go to admin menu while I have a login with a student details, uh it, it will not go to admin menu. Then what will, what will happen if a, a, a admin login then try to use a student menu? It will not work. But I will show you just now. Then let's say login as an admin. Login as an admin. I would just look in as an admin. Uh, our admin is Scott. It's Scott. Then we, we put our password. Uh, we put our password. Then we say login. I uh, will say login. As you can see down there is a return uh, current design in. Let's say if an admin wants to go to a student, what will happen? Uh, admin wants to go to student. <laughs> want to go to student? Click. Please log 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 in uh, first as a student. So uh, admin can go to a to a to a admin uh, to a student uh, menu. So what I'm going to do now is return current sign out. It just kick out. Then what I'm going to do? I'm going to log in uh, log in again as the admin. Then go to admin. Oh, admin and Scott. Uh, this is a password. Then we click login. Then we we try to go to admin menu. You can see we own the admin menu. Not, uh, we own admin menu. Uh, as you see, uh, I've logged in with the with the with the admin. Uh, then what we're going to do now is going to, we're going to create a student so that a student can be able to log in uh, and log in as a student. What we're going to do we say student because we're creating student and create and create. We say Leon. 25 26 then we say create a user a uh, user has been created we say okay let's create uh, our student maybe we can say uh say alcina oh, alcina uh, okay student number first there's a student number i forgot we can press any student number one to press. Then we we say Alcina the name. Then email. Uh, let's say Alcina one at gmail at gmail gmail dot com. Then we say create. 
so then successfully created, then we say, okay, then we're going to log, log in as a new user or a student, as a student, as a student, we say close, we go to user, we log out as a, as a admin, then we log in as a student. Then we say, our student uh, is uh, Leon, uh, password, uh, we said 25, 26, ne? then we say login, then current login as a student. So the job of the student uh, should go and view university. As you can see, uh, it did show all the universities that we have to so when you case it in. Uh, let's say a student wants to select who so student will just type uh, WSU maybe, then press select. As you can see, also is selected, then we close, then we go to student review uh, faci uh, facilities and services and show. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, our policies. Let's say uh, uh, facilities, uh, facilities. Let's say a student wants to choose one facility. We'll say uh, academic, academic, uh, then select. As you can see, academic is selected. Then we close. What we're going to do now, we're going to uh, log in as an admin. Again, they try to uh, to create a new university, a new university. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to log out as a student, log out, and then log in as an admin, so admin can create a student, a, 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 a university, sorry, uh, our password. Then we log in as an admin. As you can see, it's currently logged in as an admin. Then we go to university. Then we say create. We want to create a new university. Let's just create a Unizulu. Unizulu. Then a, a phone number. It's yes, uh, one, two, three, uh, three. Yes, email. Uh, small letter uni. One at uh, Unizulu. Then dot ac dot za. Then we uh, we press create, create a uh, university successfully created. Let's just go and retrieve that university we have created. Retrieve the university that we have created. Then we say retrieve. We say show all. As you can see, your university is created successfully. Then uh, let's say you want to click uh, to click a uh, uh, university. You want to uh, you want to select uh, to select university. Unizulu, uh, you then say select, uh, then close. What we're going to do right now, we're going to delete our, this university we have created. We say delete. Uh, first first of all, you have to press show all, show all, as you can see. Uh, we, we, we did talk about one delete cascade, where we, we you, you, you want to delete a university ID, where we linked. Uh, the dead casket we, we return the on dead casket so the the, the the university id will be deleted permanently then we say select we press select as you can see university id to drop is three then we press delete uh, it's going to say university successfully deleted we say okay then we close uh, what we're going to do now uh, we're going to retrieve this university so we can see it's uh, it's really deleted successfully. Uh, we're going to see, show all, as you can see on our screen, a uh, university is, is deleted. Uh, we say close. And what I'm going to show you right now, uh, I'm going to show you uh, our tables like uh, slowly so you can see what we have on the admin, on the admin, we have admin ID, full name, a last name, gender, email, and we. Uh, I talked about links, uh, links where we link admin and student. As you can see, I'm expanding it. Uh, we have uh, admin, student, uh, student, and uh, admin ID. Those are foreign keys because are the uh, primary keys on their tables. So uh, 
I think I've showed you everything you wanted to see. Another thing uh, we have, uh, I talked about at uh, at uh, at the new facility. As I'm expanding to, we have uh, parameters, a full name, a telephone number, uh, and as you can see here, we have another parameters. Uh, I, I think I've showed you everything uh, about this app. Uh, thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely sharing our app with you. We really hope that you enjoyed it and you loved it. We, we hope that we'll get a, a an excellent or a good feed, feedback from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, bye.